on the road again. Where are we going? Where are we going? Guess. <laughs> Kenton is intense. At the airport. Dallas, baby, here we come again. <laughs> well, we've never been to Dallas, but we're on the airport or in the airport again. <laughs> and this has been like the most 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 oh my god look at my lips looks like i just smoked some crack mm. Mm. <laughs> wow that was not a good intro not a good intro airport garage or airport parking raleigh durham get the parking. This parking lot is full. Wow, we ended up on the top level because there is no parking, so the airport is full. We are in big doo-doo. <laughs> big doo-doo. Because -doo. <laughs> our flight is not too long from now. This is how much luggage we have for, what, three days, two days? We got Mr. Kareem with us, the only child that's coming because Khalid is in school, summer school in South Korea. Kareem's been helping us move, as you guys know. He's been working really hard. <laughs> so, Terminal 2. Here we go. So we just went through security, you know, the typical pat down and check your bags and take your shoes off. And now we get to go find our gate and we'll be okay well, we heading to Dallas. In. Yep. It's busy, busy at this gate. Of course, like Kenton working on the go. Kenton and Habiba, we missed you. We are so thankful to all our loyal subscribers who've been coming back and to all our friends and family all over the world. We really appreciate you. So Kenton and I were super excited to go to Dallas because we had never been there. <laughs> Look at Ken. And also we would had a very stressful few weeks or really busy few weeks moving, dealing with children and all their programs. So it was really nice to get away and do something different. It's so peaceful. I don't know about you, but I love flying. Look at how beautiful the clouds are or flying above the clouds. It was so beautiful. And again, we were just so excited to go to a reunion and also to be able to go somewhere new that we've never been. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, we would love you to join the family. We are trying to grow the channel and every one of you count and we appreciate every one of you. So thank you and don't forget to let us know where you're watching us from. And God bless. Enjoy the video. And oh, don't forget to come back for the next part where you'll meet all of my classmates from FGC. We had so much fun, so much food, so much laughter.
waiting for our baggage, A17, baggage claims. You got, Kareem's got the backpack. Where is the big duffel bag? Ah, oh, my big boy's got it all. Good for you. <laughs> so we got our bags and now we're going to uh, get a shuttle to take us to the airport, which is what Kenton is calling for. <laughs> it's a good day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Okay, our shuttle has arrived. Let's go. So first impression, this heat is on a different level in Texas. And of course, like they say in Texas, everything is bigger, so the roads look a lot wider. Pretty modern, nice and cool. All right, awesome. Okay. Alrighty. I love this moment here with the vertical art. It's actually plants, moss. Now that's what a fiddle fig plant should look like. <laughs> you see that? That is a healthy, tall fiddle fig. Look at the size of these leaves, you guys. Let me show you my little hand next to it. That is a healthy plant. Obsessed. Nice. As they say, everything is big in Texas. <laughs> okay, we have arrived. Let's find the lights. Alrighty. First thing I see is bathroom. Looking at me, okay, not bad, marble top, yeah, it is marble, nice, big shower, this is not going to be a long tour because we are tired, let's see, okay, at first we got a room with one bed, but we told him that's not going to work, so we got two beds. Good. Let's turn on the light. It's 7.30 here. Um, there's a light switch. Okay, there you go. Alright. Two nice full-size beds. I don't think these are queens. Yeah, these look like full-size beds. Alright. Nice velvet chair in the corner. Our stuff. Nice desk. <laughs> okay, Kareem, you are tired. <laughs> and we got a nice, cute little view out there. Oh, yeah, you can see there's a pool. Nice little courtyard. So everybody is hungry. We want to eat. Yeah. 
kind of freshen up, take a quick shower, or just go get something to eat. It's kind of, I don't know, maybe we should just go get something to eat. What do you think? Well, Daddy's about to take his clothes off, so I guess we gonna freshen up, maybe. Okay. So we decided to go to a Tex-Mex restaurant not far from the hotel. Here's some colorful chips for you. <laughs> I wonder if those are just decoration. Okay, there's a bean dip and there is the salsa. And got a um, sweet tea and this is a... Mojito. Mojito, what's in a mojito? Brown, uh, lime juice and everything else that's good. <laughs> it's mint, right? Yes, yeah, mint. Looks really refreshing. Yeah, it's good summer drink. Mojito is originally Cuban, isn't it? Yeah, it's Cuban. It uses rum, that's why I like it. Rum is the, is the spice of life. The, <laughs> The, the water of the gods. <laughs> it's what makes the world go round, round. And you don't really drink that often. It's very rare that he drinks. Yeah, because I'm always doing something like this. What? I'm not driving in the next couple of days. So. <laughs> so I decided to get a salad with avocado, of course, lots of veggies. Kenton, what did you get? What is that? What'd you get? <laughs> no, come on, what'd you get? It's just a... Uh, what kind of steak. taco is that? Brisket or, or no, steak? No, I think steak. Steak with steak? some chorizo in it. All right. Yeah, grilled onions. I like that the rice isn't too much. Right. Okay, and Kareem, what'd you get? Food. Kareem, what'd you get? You got some brisket. more food. Brisket taco. So I decided to get the flan. My favorite Mexican dessert. Pretty good. Kenton enjoyed his food. Look how red you've gotten. Oh my god, you're so red. <laughs> That's not even funny, Kenton. Oh my God, you should see how red. That's what alcohol does to him. That's not funny, but honestly, you should see. Oh my God, look at your arm compared to your face. Yeah, look at that. It's your arms are still pretty pale compared to your face. Not everybody is meant to drink alcohol. That's water now, but seriously. The night is still young. The night is still young. Actually, it's not that young. No, we got to our way. It's no, like 9 p.m. It's about 9. Wow. See, it is dark. And you know how hot it is? It is still hot. Hot. There's just a tiny little bit of a breeze but it is still super warm. I don't think I could live in Texas, honey. As much money as they have in Texas and as pretty as it is in Texas, I don't think I could live here. Oh, this is my first Texas cactus, Kenton. Cactus, that's a tongue twister right there. Cactus in Texas, say that. Goofy. <laughs> the camera is always on. <laughs> How cute is this little nook in the lobby area? How cute. There's so many nice little meeting spaces. Can you just imagine yourself sitting here with me? Let's just plunk ourselves on this couch. Ooh. Oh. I'm feeling this blue velvet couch, y'all. Yeah. All right. Kenton's talking to the hotel staff because, you know, he used to work in the hotel business, so he's very familiar 
with the way the operations and everything so he enjoys talking to the staff I love my husband's legs you know you have body parts that you like well Ken has nice legs anyway the point of this is he is hurting because his knees are hurting him since we've been moving he's been lifting and squatting and you can kind of see how this knee looks a lot fuller more swollen than this knee I think he definitely has injured one of his ligaments see how this one looks a lot more bony but then look yeah this one is definitely swollen here and that's kind of where it hurts right yeah, yeah. yeah it probably have some fluid so I was thinking maybe he should wrap it with some ace bandage and eventually once we get home you might need to have if not an x-ray um, see ortho anyway son was laughing or Kenton's laughing that when you're married to a doctor he gets no sympathy because we've been doing a lot of walking and lifting and moving yeah you got some bites here is this bites yeah, insect right. bites Ugh, he's all tore up I have a thing for pretty sinks but also for small cute adorable bathroom things or anything cute um, and these travel size products are no different and none of this is sponsored okay you know you want to get through TSA make sure you buy your travel size um, products so we got a little toothpaste and Kenton got these toothbrush holders which I thought were adorable look at these um, and so even if you weren't you know traveling long distance these are cute if you don't want your toothbrush exposed to the elements so it just opens up and holds a toothbrush um, some Dove deodorant must not forget your deodorant and this powder y'all I smell this powder I love powder right you know I'm obsessed with powder like most ethnic people and this powder in this particular scent of vitamin E and aloe it just reminded me of childhood and my babies when they were young and oh my god I just put this and it just put me in this very relaxing I don't know happy place so um, don't forget your powder especially in this hot period use it anywhere where skin contact skin I mean we're grown here right so under your boobs in your armpits on your thighs good places even around your neck <laughs> if you don't mind that look but um, I love powder it just makes me feel so fresh and so clean okay y'all you know we try to keep it positive on this channel I'm not here to bash anybody but I got to tell you about this horrible experience I had with a seamstress okay you're looking at a dress uh, that was made that totally did not fit me properly it was very ill-fitting not flattering very loose um, I could pull a lot of the fabric in the back so this was fabric that was given to me as a gift by my friend Miro I had drawn the dress or sketched it out they had taken my measurements at a store that I had trusted and that that store had turned the fabric and measurements to a seamstress that I never met clearly she didn't have a lot of experience and she was very unprofessional and threatened to keep the dress unless we paid her more money even though we were quoted a specific amount the dress didn't fit properly as you can see I just didn't feel confident this is a second dress that was made it was supposed to be a formal dress you can see all the fabric in the back this was lace expensive lace from my father it was supposed to be a formal dress with a very long train in the back okay and when you hear train you know the train means that the fabric in the back should be longer than the front however instead what I got was what you see looks like a cape it was literally a piece of fabric that she just sort of attached by hooks to the back of the dress and it was the same length as the front so I was not understanding this I was not feeling it I don't know what was lost in translation but I'm not too sure that any Nigerian woman would be wearing this so needless to say I did not wear it and had to come up with plan B which was disappointing last minute so 
Anyway, I can't wait for you guys to see Friday, July the 12th. Yay. So much food, Yay. so many fun experiences, so many Those interesting people. Tall 18, 18 inch tall. I see. And then the It's like watching everyone. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe he was here.